What's up guys, welcome to TV Kiwi. Today I'll be showing you how to build a PC for a little under $600. Let's get into the video. For this build I have the Asus Prime motherboard, the Ryzen 5 AMD processor with built-in graphics, an Asus power supply unit, a 500 gigabyte SSD, a Wi-Fi adapter, and the case. Okay, here we have the motherboard and we are now ready to install this Ryzen AMD CPU. Just make sure you hold the CPU on the edges like this, not to um, push any of these pins. First thing we're going to do is open this lever. Before we put the CPU in, we are going to make sure that this gold arrow lines up with the one here on the board. Make sure it's facing the right direction. Just gently put it down. Drop it in, close the lever. Now we're ready to install the RAM. I have two here, so that means we're gonna install them on these two gray slots. First we're going to open them. close them up. Now we're ready to install the solid state drive. We have the M2 screw here that came with the motherboard. And now we can install the fan. Remove these two brackets. We can install this cooler fan in either direction it doesn't really matter just as long as these screws line up with these holes although I do think with this model if I install it in this direction it's going to block these memory cards just tightening these screws in a crisscross pattern Next we'll take this CPU fan cord and plug it into the header right here on the motherboard which is labeled here as CPU underscore fan. And what I like to do is take this cord here and tuck it down so it's out of the way. Okay now we're ready to start installing the motherboard inside the computer case. Take this panel, there's a little handle here you can lift it up slide it off of the hinges. In the back there's a panel that needs to go in. It should come with your motherboard and it looks like this. You should be able to just push it inside nice and gentle on each corner like so. Now we're going to take off this back panel here. Unscrew these. 
remove the back panel. So there's some hardware stored in the bottom case here. Just take that out. Flip it back over. Looks like we have some zip ties here and some screws for our motherboard. So now we're going to take this motherboard and fix it to the inside of this frame with eight screws. Here's an extra mounting screw that came with the casing. Second mounting screw. Now just lower the motherboard in there and adjust it so that it is in line with these screws. I'm using these screws here to fix the motherboard to the case. Eighth and final screw, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now it's time to install the power supply case. I'm going to take this and put it inside. We'll be using this style of screw to attach the power supply to the frame. The best way to differentiate this screw from the rest is, is that it has a bolt style head to it. Now it's time to plug in all these cables to the motherboard. Let's start with the cables that came with the case. First we're going to take off the twist tie, unbundle them. Let's start with this cable with the blue end to it. This I believe powers all the USB 3. I just fed this cable up under here, there's a little hole. Right here it says USB 3. Okay, now you should be ready to plug in the cables that came with this case. I pulled the cable through this hole here. First I plugged in the USB plug that had a um, blue end to it. Then the next is another USB plug. Then the audio cable to the AAFP slot. Then the LED power and reset button plug right here. The next thing I did is I plugged in this um, front fan to the fan header on the board and then the rear fan to this fan header on the board right here. Okay, after that you should be ready to plug in the power supply unit's plugs. I took the 24 pin connector and plugged it right here and then I took the CPU connect it and plugged it there. There's a few other plugs here um, for various pieces that this board does not have and I also do not have on this build so we can leave those at the back. Next thing I'm going to do is install this Wi-Fi adapter. Just going to put it in right there so I need to remove a section at the back. Okay so I just gently pried out one of these panels in the back here so that I could line up the Wi-Fi adapter and put it, insert it into this slot right there. I then used a screw and attached it to the frame of the case. Once I saw that everything was working properly, I created a Windows boot from USB drive and I connected that to one of the USB slots and started installing the software and the drivers. And then that's it, you just have to follow the prompts if you have any questions about this build, please leave a comment below and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.